Were you wondering how vaccines work? I'll explain. My name is Ann Palmenberg, and I'm a professor of biochemistry and molecular virology at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. My job is basically to do research on viruses of all different kinds so that we can help make vaccines and antivirals that will cure diseases caused by viruses. Basically, when viruses infect, they can cause a lot of damage. The idea of a vaccine is to try to trick your immune system into thinking that, in fact, you've had a virus infection and that vaccine will then protect you when a real virus comes along. And when you get exposed to that virus, you will not get as sick or you may not even get sick at all. Uh, basically, the vaccine will have protected you against a subsequent infection by a real virus. There are thousands, literally, of different kinds of viruses. So each one of those viruses has different physical characteristics, different shapes, different proteins on the outside. So there is no one size fits all for, for vaccines. That's just not possible to happen. So we have to be able to adapt and use different techniques for making vaccines that will accommodate each one of those. The common methods for making vaccines are we can either take a virus, we take that live virus and inactivate it so that it's no longer able to infect. So it looks like a virus, it's shaped like a virus, but it's dead. For other viruses like uh, polio virus, again, we grow polio virus in large amounts, but it's a very special kind of polio virus that we engineered in the lab to not make you sick. So it's a live virus vaccine that behaves to your immune system as if it was the real one. And when you finally see the real wild type polio, your immune system knows how to respond because we vaccinated you basically with a trick virus as opposed to the real one. COVID-19 virus has uh, on its surface particular proteins, these purple guys on the outside here, that's called a spike protein for this virus. And it turns out that that's where you want the antibodies to bind to make a vaccine. So when your body sees the whole virus, the wild type virus like this, it can react because it's seen the protein before. But there's no danger from the vaccine because the vaccine doesn't have virus. It only has the little purple part. And the purple part alone can't make you sick. So they can be subunit vaccines like this, protein vaccines, live virus vaccines, or they can be um, attenuated virus vaccines that are uh, basically genetically engineered not to make you sick. Some viruses are very hard to make vaccines, others are relatively easy. And every different virus has a different kind of biology and a different kind of structure, and we have to attack them differently. We spend our lives developing these things for the common good. There are many, many reputable scientific sources online. Probably half of the virology staff at the CDC are Wisconsin trained. So you can trust them. You can trust the people at the NIH. You can trust reputable scientific sources. Uh, bottom line, trust the science, because that's what we do for a living, trying to improve human health.